around a bit obviously it's still dancing so we're just trying to <laughs> get it to stay in one place at the same time but there you go so we mounted it basically we mounted it on the air The uh, crankshaft is as horizontal as I can make it, just by guessing. And, um, and it's not as uh, parallel to the bars, it's slightly out, but it won't be much because obviously when I fit that, I can compensate for it. But, uh, obviously, we still need a bit of exhaust to it. Sloping ground and it's walking down again. There we go. <laughs> it's vibrating still quite badly, obviously. It just needs uh, something to stop it from walking about, basically. But there it is, it's on a, a frame. And obviously, it's still working well, you know. Turn it down a bit, maybe. Right now it's not wobbling. A little bit of slight vibration, but it's not too bad. <coughs> yeah. That's probably nearer the uh, 800 RPM mark, but I don't know. It's got a bit of backfiring, probably because it's coked up. Because I ran it with a, a really bad dwell angle, so it's coked up, and that's what the backfiring is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Might be getting a bit hot as well now, so I think I'll shut it down. But it's on it. There we go. But it's on it, isn't it? And obviously it doesn't take a great Einstein to work out what's going to happen next. We have the generator on there. And eventually we get some wheels on it. And a, 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 tro a, a tow bar. So we have the generator on this side. I don't know where we're going to fashion the tank. But I mean obviously we can do a similar sort of thing. To fashion the tank or make another tank for it or something. Might as well just leave that tank on. And then... Uh, yeah, <clears throat> that's the beast, fastened down, there's a bit of clearance, I left a bit of clearance underneath the uh, sump, as you can see, it's not actually on the ground, <clears throat> and I think the issue I've got now is because the, uh, because the exhaust mounts are studs, means if I actually put a crossbar on it, uh, then I'll never be able to get it off, I don't think, simply because this side, although this side's got bolts on it, I can take the bolts on and this will come out, upwards obviously, but this side won't, because the studs will stop it from coming out. Whereas now I can take it off, because I can just simply take it off one side at a time. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll put a cross member on, but bolt it on instead so I can remove it, because it probably would benefit from having a cross member. It's a bit too much vibration there. But it's there, isn't it? And it's doing it. That's a week. I am pretty pleased with that. Yep. There we go. So that's the first stage, anyway. That's the whole thing, basically. Isn't it? you got your tank. Don't know where I'm going to put the tank. Yep. Okay, bye.